hello everyone. Uh, this, uh, this is Sudan, ERP Next Functional Consultant, work for Aorus Info Private Limited. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank the Frappe team for giving us this opportunity to present our product here. Uh, and now my colleague Jabba will give the introduction to our company and our journey to Frappe. So over to you, Jabba. Hi everyone, I'm Jabba. I'm working as a technical consultant in Aorus Info Private Limited. Actually, Aorus is a company which provides services in data analytics, data engineering, and automation. And last year, we also started working with Frappe, and we have also developed a custom app, and we have been implementing ERP Next for customers. Our company is in India, Singapore, and Malaysia. And now, Sudan will give the introduction about our project data. Yeah, thank you, Jabba. Uh, as part of the implementation we have done with one of our customers, we came to understand that the businesses which running through with the employees who are involved in the site activities uh, face some struggles, uh, both for the employees as well as the managers also. So managers are getting issues with uh, getting the work updates from the uh, employees and addressing which employees is working on which site and uh, uh, communicate the instructions to those uh, employees. And in terms of the employees, they are facing issues with uh, 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 update the work status to the managers and uh, what sort of work is going on. To address these issues, we developed this projected app. And this app is going to addressing this issue by providing the managers the functionality to allocate the employees onto the site. And they can also communicate the instructions to those employees using their mobile phones. And Employees also, uh, they can also see the instructions assigned to them, and they can also update any work status to the managers using the mobile. And now we will see what is projected app. It is an open source PWA mobile app developed on the Frappe framework, and it uses a Vue.js for the front end. It is developed based on the timesheet module and the project module of the ERP Next and the attendance module of the HRMS app. And it tracks the uh, time like uh, activities like uh, regular shift and the uh, uh, overtime activities and it create the timesheet entries based on this activity type uh, we have two modules in this project app one is a work it module and the another one is a manage it module and this work it module allows the employees to update the check in and check in, uh, check out in uh, updates uh, using the mobile and they can also uh, uh, update any in between work updates to the managers using this work it module. And the another one module is a project it module. Project it module, so, uh, sorry, manage it module. And this manage it module uh, allows the uh, managers to allocate the employees to the particular site. And they can also uh, uh, communicate the instructions to those uh, employees also. Uh, these, are the, these are the things about this project it app. Let's see project it app into the action. First, we will see the um, standard employee doc type of the ERP next. Here, for this GUI user, you are assigning the work in module uh, in this, uh, by giving that in the mobile module field. And he has access to work in module only. And for this uh, Sudan user, we gave the access to manage it module. Now, we will move into the web, sorry, mobile app. Now I log in as an employee. Log in as an employee. So as an employee, uh, I'm going to start my work. What I will do is first I will check in to the project allocated to me. So here I am in this check in tab. Um, here we can see the list of projects allocated to me for the particular day. I'm selecting one project. Here I can see the instructions allocated are assigned to the employees by the managers. And the first project instruction is a global instruction, which can be seen by all the employees. And the specific instruction is an employee-specific instruction, which can be seen by the particular employees. And here below this member section, we can see who are all the members, other members allocated to this particular project. And before I'm going to start the work, I'm going to do the check-in. Uh, to confirm that I am in the project site, what I'm going to do is, to click the picture of the project project site. For now, I am taking the selfie. After taking the photo, 
I'm clicking the check-in button. And it will uh, record it in the web app. And uh, then I go back to my work and do my work. After some time, if I want to update, uh, I finished some sort of works. So I wanted to update that to my uh, manager. So what I will do is, uh, th then again I come back to this project in, uh, app. And here I can see the check-in time, my check-in time. Below that, uh, there is a project status update button is available. Once I click that, uh, a field will pop up. Here I can note the, add the notes, like uh, tiles work is completed. I'm adding this note here. So after that, I click the upload. Yeah. Now uh, for the confirmation, I am taking the picture of the work done. And for now, I take the selfie, sorry, picture of these tiles and click the upload. And these entries also will be added to the web app. So when I'm going to complete my work, I will do the checkout. So now I click in the checkout. So here, again, I'm taking the selfie and the, click the checkout. During both the check-in and check-out uh, uh, time, not only the photo, along with the photo, geolocation of the employee is also recorded in the web app. Now we will see the standard uh, timesheet doc type of the ERP next. Here in this timesheet entry, in this attachment field, we can see the list of photo we uploaded through the mobile. And below the notes section, we can see the check-in time and the additional photo added time along with the notes and the checkout time also. Uh, and in this timesheet table, we can see the activity type and the hours uh, the employees worked. And these data are fetched from the doc type called uh, work time settings. It has standard doc, sorry, it's not a standard doc type. It's a customized doc type. Uh, these things will be explained by the Jabba uh, during the technical time. Uh, now we will again move into the mobile app. Yeah. These are the functionalities in this uh, uh, work it module. Now I'm going to log in as a manager. In this manage it module, we can see the two tabs are here. One is allocation and the instructions. In this allocation tab, we can see uh, what are all the projects created and who are all the members allocated to those particular projects. And in the instruction tab, we can see the list of projects. And we have uh, two icons near that. By clicking on this first icon, uh, we can add or remove the employees from the particular project. By clicking this new button, we can select the employees from this field. And once click add, the employee will be added to this particular project. And if you want to remove any employee, we can do by simply clicking this icon. And by confirming, they will be removed from this project. And uh, by clicking this second icon, pencil icon, uh, we can uh, edit or giving the instructions to the employees. And first one is a global instructions. We can edit this also by clicking the save. It will be saved. And for the specific instruction, we can select the specific employee. And we can give the instructions here. And by clicking the save, it will be saved in the web app also. Yeah. Uh, now we will see the standard uh, project doc type of the ERP next. Uh, here we introduce this uh, action button. It's a customized button. Uh, as a part of this project it app, uh, we created a one more uh, customized doc type called uh, project allocation and instructions. Uh, here we can see the project name. And uh, in this allocation table, we can see who are all the members allocated to this project and what are all the instructions assigned to them. These details can be seen here. Yeah. 
these are the functionalities of this manage it module. And the, this project it, uh, instance of this project it app is uh, hosting in the public cloud. Mm. And the one more thing, there are some of the alternatives available in the market. And uh, those are, uh, of course, uh, all are paid versions. And ours is an open source one. And these things are, uh, these apps are standalone apps and they're not connected to any ERP or HRMS softwares. Uh, that's all for the functional side. Now, Jabba will give the technical glimpse of our project app. Thank you. App, we have used a project and timesheet doc type of project module and employee and employee check-in of HR module and our, we have our own projected module which has project allocation and instruction and work allocation instruction, employee allocation instruction and work time settings doc type. These are all some of the functionalities we will see now. For First, checking functionality for that we have used a, a camera component to capture the image and then using list resource API which has an insert, a, insert API, we are inserting a timesheet document and after that we are accessing geolocation and we are making an employee check-in entry. How we implemented this to camera and geolocation will be shown shortly. Next. Uh, project status update uh, function. For that, we are using a camera component and we are capturing and updating the timesheet using set value API. Next, uh, checkout functionality. For that, we are using, we are splitting the times with the, this work time settings have the regular and um, regular working times and uh, what is the regular activity type and overtime activity type. This will separate the time logs as per the check-in time and check during checkout time. Yeah. yeah. Just pause. We are making, uh, we are accessing the geolocation at checkout time and making an employee Jabba. checking. And then. Jabba, one second, one second. Jabba, one second. It's not working. And next project instruction and team member listing for that we are using a resource API uh, in that we are manipulating the data from timesheet project allocation and instruction and project allocation instruction doc type and displaying that and next uh, project instruction setup for that we are using list resource API to update the project work instruction in project allocation and instruction doc type next uh, for team members allocation we are using this resource API to update project allocation and instruction and employee allocation instruction doc types. Next, uh, during checking, we are using a camera component which has a video and canvas. Uh, we, are, we are using the function get context to make a canvas rendering context to the object. And for accessing camera, we are using get user media function in media interface API, interface provided by navigator API. This will give us video stream and which will be passed to the video. And we are displaying this video through canvas. For that, we are using request animation frame function to draw the camera 
using canvas rendering on text object which will draw our video value in specified width and height and for at the time of capturing we are just converting the image value present in canvas at the time into data url which will be later converted into file for storing in backend then for uh, on click of camera the camera instance is stopped by this function next uh, for accessing location we are using get current location method by geolocation api it, and uh, this will give us the latitude and longitude points which will be later passed to employee checking doc type for insertion and then the difficulty we face during checkout is to find whether the employee has logged in before or on regular time so that the regular costing and uh, uh, overtime rates can be calculated which is an ERP next setup. These setups needs to be done in uh, active D type doc types. For example, we have taken like if uh, start and st end hours of a company is 9 to 6 and an employee is checking in in 6 and log outs in 7, then the time logs will be separated like 6 to 9, 3 hours and regular overtime and 9 to 6 regular and 6 to 7 overtime and later this costing rate and amount will be calculated which is what then this is the piece of code which helped us to help us to do that time log separation and next for getting team members list we are manipulating the data from we are accessing the members allocated using project allocation instruction doc type and then we are checking whether they have already logged in if they are already there is a time sheet entry with them in that particular project then they are active in that site this will give us whether the employee is active or not and our, our project app is available in this public repository Thank you.